the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 5G. Screen here on the front, unfold it for a much bigger screen and camera on the back. I'm gonna record this in 120 frames per second, full HD. Shutter speed to 1 250th, and ISO 100. Then I'm gonna zoom in here to 2.0. Oh. And we got a pretty good composition for daring to smack that garlic. Three, two, one, hit it. For a while now, I've been working on improving my studio workflow. So for this shoot, I'll use Smart View to display my Z Fold 3 on my S Tab 7 Plus as I build my composition. And once the shoot is done, I'll be using Samsung's Quick Share to send the images and video from the Z Fold 3 over to the S Tab 7 so I can drop them in the edit. For this stop motion, I'm gonna rotate the garlic ever so slightly with each picture. So it kind of does a little spin in the stop motion, which will be pretty cool, I think. Now I just select all the photos, hit quick share, select my tablet, and it zips them on over there. I had to get a taller glass. That way it all sits up. And recording, shake it. This is a new tablet for me as well. It's the Samsung Galaxy S7 Plus, and I haven't paired my Buds 2 to it yet, and I have to have music while I do my stop motions. And since both of the phones are being used right now to record video, Samsung makes pairing devices really simple with easy pairing. I simply open the case, hit connect, and that's it. And I don't have to unpair my Buds 2 from my other devices. A quick tip if you're using your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 to record some stop motions is to use it in photo pro mode. That way you can control the exposure, the shutter speed, the white balance, and even the manual focus. Like for this stop motion, I focused on the top of this bun here, this bread. That way I can lock down the exposure, the focus, and it doesn't change with each picture. During this entire shoot, I've been periodically using Samsung's quick share feature to download or transfer my images and videos over to my tablet for review. I'll tap and hold to select the images that I want. Actually, I can just press the today button and then I can hop down to the share icon down at the bottom of the screen. Up at the top, you see quick share, Just click on that and that's it. It's pretty quick and easy. Now all those photos and videos were sent wirelessly over to my tablet and I can start editing. I send images back and forth a lot in my work. Oftentimes they get the shot off quickly to a client for approval before I can even move on to the next shot. I will also use QuickShare to send clips after each shot that I take to see how my story is progressing. And when the edit is done, I'll QuickShare the video back to my phone to post online. All right, let's kick off this stop motion. So I just gotta make sure that the lime is centered in every picture. Then I go back to the chopping block, slice another little sliver off the lime, place it back, rinse and repeat. So nerve wracking getting this back in the same exact spot. All right, that's it for this one. Time to transition to the next shot. Let's get cooking. Once the butter melts, then we will get cooking. Sizzle that up with the butter before the shrimp. That's gonna be some uh, high potent pepper action going on right there.
Easy pairing and quick share and in fact the entire Galaxy ecosystem have been huge in simplifying my workflow here in the studio. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, as always, like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, drop some comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.